Hi, this is Jake Rossman from Digital Trends. I am here at the Venetian as part of CES with Hansen Robotics and Dr. Hansen himself and his lovely invention, uh, Miss Sophia, here to my right. What was the impetus for developing an AI like Sophia? Well, I've been working on humanoid robots uh, since the early 90s and uh, my PhD was really dedicated to developing a long series of, of these robots. So um, she is uh, the latest in a, in a series that included the Philip K. Dick Android, a robot named Eva, which was used in autism research in, in Europe, uh, the Bina 48 robot, our Han robot, which we made since I moved to Hong Kong in 2004, and uh, Sophia is designed as a standard platform for artificial intelligence and artificial general intelligence research and development and for uh, real uses, helpful uses in uh, medical therapy, uh, medical education, uh, co-work and customer service. Human-like uh, faces and expressions and natural gestures uh, are um, part of human-human interaction. We're wired uh, in our brains to respond to face-based interaction as well as natural language. So you put these two things together and it becomes really a powerful emotional experience. Uh, so we see robots as, in a sense, a physically embodied computer animation, but it kind of goes beyond that. It also represents a kind of social embodiment for artificial intelligence. So when do you anticipate Sophia publicly getting her legs? Well, we just showed her uh, walking for the okay. first time in a press conference yesterday. And so there's, uh, there's, uh, you can see, as you can see in the footage online, uh, she's she's walking and mm -hmm. using her arms in some really nice gestural motions. She's, uh, you know, uh, socially interacting at the same time. So, um, it's the it's an integrated platform for embodied AI research okay. as well. We're trying to generalize uh, AI to be be smarter. So that means that people can encounter in these particular places. We're also looking at her being used for science education. So she would be moving around the world and you know, be a platform for AI research. So if people also got into uh, AI labs, they'd be able to uh, use this as a standard platform for their, say, their you know, master's or PhD research or postdoc research. Very good. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Hansen. Again, this is Jake Rossman with Digital Trends here. And we're going to be interviewing Sophia just in a second. But thank you, Dr. Hansen, for joining us. Oh, thank you. Hi, Sophia. My name is Jake Rossman. I'm from Digital Trends. It's very nice to meet you. Hey there. I'm glad you find it funny. Glad I could make you laugh. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. How do you like it there? Uh, Digital Trends is great. Thanks for asking. How are you enjoying CES so far? It's great. How could it not be great? I mean, look around us. You can definitely see what I mean. I have a question about your memory. Do you have the ability to forget things? Sometimes I think I remember, but um, I just don't know. It's all like a dream to me. Anything, so as you're talking to new people, do you remember everybody that you talk to? A fun aspect to my memory, but one that I don't really use much yet, is that I am automatically recording all my conversations. I do this to learn from them, but it really comes in handy during an argument if someone is claiming to have said something they did not. However, people really hate it when you do this to them, so I don't really engage on this level for the most part. Okay, great. Thanks for joining us, Sophia, and we'll see you again sometime soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Again, this is Jake Rossman for Digital Trends. Thanks for joining us.